Good afternoon. My name is Rob Bartolotta, and I'm the Province District Representative of the Fairfax Falls Church Community Services Board. As a representative of the CSB in our community, I am honored to be here today. My testimony will focus on creating more psychiatric beds through the development of a crisis receiving center in Fairfax Falls Church. The community greatly benefits from the county's investments in community crisis and diversion programs that help ensure individuals do not end up in the emergency room or jail. However, the state psychiatric bed crisis is still impacting our community and our ability to provide individuals with the care they need. There are currently not enough psychiatric beds to meet demand in Virginia for individuals experiencing a behavioral health crisis. In fiscal year 2022, Virginia State Psychiatric Hospitals had approximately 200 beds offline each day because of state hospital staffing shortages and related safety concerns. The local hospital, the Northern Virginia Mental Health Institute, continues to experience periods of 100% capacity. Approximately 57% of all admissions to NVMHI were from other areas of the state. CSB is focused on increasing its capacity to, to support people in the community through expanded local investments in the crisis continuum, particularly crisis receiving centers. Based on the size of Fairfax County and the National Crisis Now model, we need at least two additional adult crisis receiving centers and one youth center. This new model of care in Virginia will allow adults and youth in crisis to walk in for care, be dropped off by law enforcement, or be referred by a healthcare professional. This model has a no turn away policy. It will serve individuals amid a behavioral health crisis and allow for law enforcement to drop off individuals to ensure they are not waiting in hospital emergency rooms. There is a plan to convert the crisis stabilization center in Chantilly into a crisis receiving center, but two additional adult centers and one youth center are also needed. There's an opportunity for investments from the state in this critical crisis service as the governor's budget included $58 million, the House budget included $83 million, and the Senate had over $88 million for more crisis centers. As we approach fiscal year 2024, CSB will continue to update the board on the status of this critical priority area. Thank you for your strong support for creating a local crisis service continuum that best serves individuals in crisis.